Greetings and thank you once again for the opportunity to come to you today and spend this time with you in God's Word and in prayer. We trust that this week's meditation, as we look at the wine, the wine dresser and the branches in John 15, is encouraging your heart, is illuminating truth, bringing truth to you and encouraging you in your spiritual walk. In John 15, verse 3, as Jesus continued talking about the wine and the branches, he said, You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Now, obviously, Jesus is addressing something that is that has already happened and that is already happening in the lives of his immediate disciples. But we need to take that and translate that, uh, translate that to us today. In the preceding verse, Jesus said that the wine dresser prunes the branches so that it could become more fruitful. Right after that, in talking about that pruning process, Jesus says, look, you are already clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. In other words, this pruning that has to do with the removing of unnecessary things has already been happening in you by the words that I have been speaking to you. What Jesus is saying in verse 3 to his immediate disciples. What does that mean for you and me? It means that as we continually or continue to listen to the word of God, that pruning is taking place in our lives. The pruning of God has to do, as we said yesterday, trimming us so that we intentionally trimming us so that we can be spurred for growth or removing things that are dried up, things that are unnecessary so that we could bear more fruit. And Jesus reveals to us that this happens by the word he speaks to us. So how does God prune us? By the word he speaks to us. So God's word as, as we uh, receive his word that word brings about a cleansing. That word brings about a removing, a, a cutting off of unnecessary things. So this shows us how important the word of God is. So as you and I intentionally open up the scriptures, read it, meditate in it, listen to it being taught, and uh, let that word impact our lives. As James says, we receive the implanted word. We receive that word that is intended to be sown into our hearts then that word cleanses us. It removes the unnecessary things, just as cleansing or washing does. It washes out, removes the dirt, removes the unnecessary things out of our lives. So for instance, as you're reading the Word of God, maybe you read a certain passage where God speaks to you and me saying, you need to forgive those who offended you. Maybe we are carrying offense in our hearts and it's those very offense that are acting as dried pieces in our lives that are preventing fruitfulness. And as we read the word of God, God says that, you know, God cleanses that, removes those offenses. Therefore, we are released from those things that are preventing fruitfulness in our lives. And we can continue on to be more fruitful. But remember this, God's word is one of the tools or a main tool that God uses to cleanse us, to prune us so that we could be more fruitful. Continue to open your heart and life to the scriptures. It's very important. Let's pray. Father, we welcome your work in our lives through your word, that we are cleansed by your word so that we could be more fruitful and fruitful increasingly. Do your work in us by your word and we receive, Father, your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.